how do, how do you, so how can you engage with people on all these channels? Who has a guess? Anybody? Hire five more people. Yeah. Is that an option for anybody? Absolutely not, right? I mean, how are you going to do it? Learn all those channels. Okay. So one one way that we're doing it, we're trying to do it at United Way of East Central Iowa. We're trying to communicate with people on every channel that there is. We didn't add any positions, um, so that wasn't an option. Even though I said that, you know, could we add like ten people? And I said, everybody said no. Um, the only way that we have thought of so far is we gather content, we share our story all the time. Um, you know, we talk to people that have received services, we talk to volunteers, we talk to donors, we have the community building staff who are our in-house experts, we have them write things, um, and then we distribute it. So the way that looks in, in our model, if you look at the same model right here, our audience, we think of our main audience starts on our website and our content delivery strategy. So everything we do, we put on the website. So you could, in theory, um, and we're not even that far ahead, right, this second, you could go onto our website today and you could see something that we're gonna use in next year's campaign. You're not gonna see the exact same format. It's gonna look a little different, but you know, Caitlin is out shooting videos um, this week already, and we might use that as our, our uh, main piece for the campaign next year. Uh, but we also need to um, nurture the online audience. So just right before the class started, I got an email notification that online donations were coming in. You know, I, I don't have any idea what they were doing online, but I know they were on the website, so we know people use the website. Um, so that's, that's where we start everything. Then we try to send it to all those channels. So sometimes we get requests from partners and they say, well, can you put this in the newsletter? And we say, We'd be happy to put it on the website, and then when it, when newsletter time comes, we'd be happy to consider it. Um, because newsletter has to have a different voice, it has to, not, not a different brain voice, but it has to look a little different, you can't put everything in the newsletter. Uh, we put it on Facebook. Uh, if you go on our Facebook page, Caitlin is really our social media person. Um, you know, and, and, and we'll share things there, just in a different tone. So on the website, we might say, you know, here's what we know, et cetera, et cetera. On Facebook, we might say, uh, we might put that in a different voice just to try to adapt to that audience. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, so that's still some more work than we used to have to do, but it's the most efficient way that we could, we could think of doing these things.